Welcome to White Lecture Online. Now let's take a look at dividing fractions. In other words, finding the quotient. And first let's take a look at some basic concepts and principles because when you divide by fractions, some strange things seem to happen. So first let's take a look and see what some of those basic concepts are. First of all, if we divide by fraction which is smaller than 1, the number actually gets bigger, which is kind of counterintuitive because normally when we divide a number, the number gets smaller. But if we divide by a fraction which is less than 1, the number actually gets bigger. And here's an example. 4 fifths divided by 1 half becomes 8 fifths. So even though we're dividing, our answer is bigger than the number we started with. If we divide by 1 half, the number becomes twice as big because 8 is twice as big as 4. Then, if we divide by a fraction that is bigger than 1, the number does indeed get smaller. For example, if we take 2 thirds and we divide it by 5 halves, we get 4 fifteenths. Now, we didn't show yet how that works, but you can see that 4 fifteenths is a smaller number than 2 thirds. It turns out, when we divide one fraction by another fraction, the way that's done is we do that by actually turning the division into a multiplication. And the way we do that is by taking the second fraction, the fraction we're dividing by, and turning that upside down and then making the division symbol a multiplication symbol. So here we say 2 thirds divided by 5 halves is exactly the same as 2 thirds times the inverse of that, simply turn the fraction around, times 2 fifths. And of course we already know how to multiply fractions. We multiply the numerators together, we multiply the denominators together, and that's where the 4 fifteenths came from. So what we do is we simply multiply by the inverse of the fraction and that's how we change the division into a multiplication. If we don't do that, it would be sometimes very difficult to try and figure out how to divide a fraction by another fraction. It's simply better simply to turn it into multiplication by then taking the inverse of the fraction. And so in general, when we have a divided by b divided by c divided by d, that's the same as a divided by b times d over c, simply turn the fraction around. And that's the general rule of how we actually divide one fraction by another. We cheat, we make it into a multiplication. That's how it's done.